When you read Treasure Island, you're reading a book which was written in the context of a long tradition of sea stories and island stories. And the earliest one of these, like uh, Ballantyne's uh, Coral Island, are stories about happy, strong British lads who are upright and honest and pure, and they go out and they conquer, as it were, the Coral Island, the, the paradise where everything is lovely and nothing is corrupt, and they come back feeling fulfilled and having uh, fulfilled their destiny and done noble deeds. And along comes Robert Louis Stevenson to tell the same sort of story about a quest for treasure on an exotic island. And what does he do? He produces characters who are all either corrupt or ambivalent. They go to an island which is um, a frightening place full of snakes and uh, fever. And almost every character Everything that's done, everything that happens, is accidental or corrupt or evil. Modern critics said it's really not a very nice book at all. It's the kind of book that confronts your ideas about what an adventure story should be. And it examines the whole ethos of colonisation, of finding treasure. This treasure is tainted and therefore what good does it do you in the end? And so um, Treasure Island is a fascinating book to be read now as an adult to think, what is going on here? Why is it, was, was this ever for children? If it was, what sort of context was it operating in? It's a revolutionary book.